Hey, this is John Smith with XTROP Networks, and today um, I want to walk through the Humio application that we wrote for unmanaged systems for CrowdStrike devices. So here I'm logged in to the Humio Community, Community Edition, and if you look here, they actual, actually offer a free edition that's got some production grade uh, limits on it. Uh, if you haven't used Humio, it is a very powerful sim. Uh, here you'll see you can get up to 16 gigs of ingest per day. They will give you five users and the retention is up to seven days with one repository. So it's pretty good, pretty effective uh, SIM that you can use to collect some data. And that's a nice large gigabits uh, per day limitation uh, that you can actually use it. So I've got an RX data repository that I've created. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install the RevealX application. So if we come here for unmanaged apps, so if I come here to the Humio marketplace, I'm just going to type extra hop. And this is the first of what should be many extra hop devices. But here I'm going to go ahead and uh, install this. So I'm going to go ahead and click, uh, oops, the wrong. Uh, right, click this and I'm going to install this package. All right, so now that it's installed, it's going to give you a parser that uh, uh, Adam Hogan helped me, helped me build for parsing our JSON data. It's going to, be, going to give you a nice uh, dashboard here. Now, right now it's empty, of course, but let's go out. Uh, let's just uh, go out here and let's put it in real time mode. And then let's step through what it takes on your RevealX system to get this working, right? So we've installed the application. That was pretty quick. Now I want to install the Humio bundle. So you can find it on our forums here on the integrations. If you click on integrations, you'll see we have a Humio CrowdStrike Unmanaged Systems app. And again, this application is made for, for you to be able to track those systems like SCADA, ICS, medical devices, or unmanaged systems, legacy, BYO systems, systems that don't have a Falcon sensor. We want to be able to track those systems. So we're going to go ahead and create an ODS target. We're going to deploy the bundle here. So first thing I'll do, let me just download this bundle. All right, so I've saved that bundle. We'll get back to this. But let's build out an open data stream target on our system, okay? So let's come here to the open data stream. So I'm going to browse to that. I click here. So I'm going to create an open data stream to retrieve the JSON. So if we look at the instructions here, we see it is cloud.us.humio.com. And basically, that's about all you need to do, and you're ready to go. So I'll come here, set up the ODS target. And what this is going to do is allow us to send data to Humio. It's very important that you follow the spelling. It is case sensitive. So we're going to use Humio. And the uh, host is cloud.community dot humio.com the port will be 443 and we will be using https all right so now when i test this all right this looks good so i'm going to go ahead and save this now the next step is to download the humio or deploy the humio bundle so from the bundles section of your revealx appliance right we're going to upload the bundle and install it so here should be the first thing in my downloads. It is very good. All right. So I'm going to install these three triggers and a couple of dynamic device groups. All right. So I've installed these triggers. So the last step is to add the webhook that I want to use for this Humio instance. So let me go to my triggers real quick. I'm going to type Humio. Right here we have our three, we'll do the Windows one first, okay? So here's my trigger, and I need to add my Humio webhook. Well, the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna set up my Humio environment to support that. So the next step here is to go to settings, okay? And I'm gonna go to my date ingest tokens. I'm gonna go ahead and add a token. I'm gonna call this um, uh, reveal X. And I'm going to assign the parser to the extra hop parser that was created for us. So if I go down here to this one, okay, I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to check this uh, uh, token, right? So the token is right there. If you click the eyeball, 
There's my token. I'm going to copy it. Let's come over here. Here we see some data and a grid down below. Very good. So now let's start the process of seeing if we can get some data to show up. So I'm going to go to my unmanaged Humio trigger, and I'm just going to paste this webhook in. I click Save. All right, this is set to all unmanaged Windows systems. It may take a little bit for us to discover those. If we come back here, it should take may take a little bit of time, but there you immediately see we're actually starting to get some data. And uh, let me just refresh this here to get that map to show up. Eventually, we'll geocode the rest of these uh, these maps here. There you actually see some uh, incoming connections. There you see some. Uh, outbound connections going out here. You see the top peers. There you see an external one. Here we've also got, so you see these Windows systems coming in. And I've got it on high resolution to make it more visible. But if you scroll to the right, you'll see a PCAP download section. So we're giving you some five tuple data. And these are all of the unmanaged systems on your network. So these are all of the Windows systems that don't have a Falcon sensor. If it's an ICS or SCADA system, system all of the transactions are available here in Humio. If I want to click a PCAP, if you've got a trace appliance, I can click here uh, and it should, oh, I need to edit my PCAP name. There you saw I had the wrong PCAP name. So let me come here. My EDA appliance is actually here. Sensor.i.rx.tours. Okay. I'll wait a little bit for some new packets to come. So now that they have the right URI, eventually we should get some packets. So there we see PC1 has sent some uh, SSL data here. Uh, if I click here, let's see if it's ready. And it looks like it is. Hold on. I'll, let me bring uh, Wireshark over. Okay, let me close this. It should open on this side now. So here we have another one. If I click here. There you see the PCAP is there. I can open it. So again, let's walk through the dashboard. So this is an example of the five tuple or the grid that we're giving you that lets you download the PCAPs of the unmanaged systems only, right? So here's a grid of all of the different transactions. Here we have a breakdown of all the protocols, all of the peers. Here we have geospatial data. And here we have the total number of unmanaged devices, as well as the new devices that have shown up on your network in the last 24 hours. So again, this is, we don't have any detections yet. I'll record a separate video for how to get the detections. But again, this took about five minutes to set up. And while you think you have no visibility of your non-unmanaged uh, system or systems that don't have any Falcon sensor on them, when you deploy this application in conjunction with RevealX, we've already isolated those systems that are missing the Falcon agent, those systems that are Linux and Windows that are missing the Falcon agent. And we've also got a device group for the systems that are new in the last 24 hours. So all of these unmanaged systems that you didn't have visibility for in, in the Falcon console, you now have full visibility here within the Humio dashboard. And again, this takes about uh, 10 minutes total to set up. Uh, so again, this is the new Humio app. This is the first of what we expect to be many. Thanks so much for watching. And again, this is John Smith with Extra Hot Networks, and this is the Humio RevealX Unmanaged Systems uh, Dashboard for Falcon X. I'm sorry, for, for CrowdStrike Falcon Sensors. Thanks so much. Have a great day.